When I say that Pixar's new trailer for Inside Out 2 brought a lot of emotions with it, I'm not talking about myself in particular, I mean it literally. The trailer of Pixar's newest sequel has introduced fans of Inside Out to a new world of emotions, all of which will be there to help Riley navigate her early teen years. And some might make things worse. Get ready to learn everything that you need to know about the new emotions coming in Pixar's Inside Out 2. The trailer did a great job making one thing very clear about Riley's new emotions, and it's that they know how to make a hell of an entrance. It wasn't until about halfway through the trailer that fans got their first look at what new emotions they should expect as Riley turns 13 in the highly anticipated sequel. But man, was it chaotic. All of Riley's current emotions from the first movie were woken up by the sound of beeping. They all gathered around the center console of the command center as they wondered about a flashing red button that they didn't know was there. Just then, an alarm starts blaring, which basically summoned a wrecking crew in through the window of the command center. The wrecking crew showed up, declared it's demo day, and then promptly started destroying the place. I mean, fear almost got cut in half by a chainsaw. It was crazy. The destruction was short-lived though, and once a member of the demo crew was finished tinkering with the center console, they all left as quickly as they came. Now at first, it might seem like the chaos was only created for comedic purposes, but honestly, after learning what the four new emotions Riley was going to experience were, it turns out to be an accurate depiction of the human psyche. And even though the scene only went on for about 20 seconds, it was so impactful that it felt like it took up the entire trailer, when in reality, all that the crew really changed was the center console. After Joy asked about the orange color, everyone in the room was like, nah, it wasn't me. But then a voice came out from the back of the line that revealed itself to be the reason for the sudden color change. Anxiety popped out and gave everyone a fright. Just like it does to me every Sunday in real life. Now this might have only been one of the four new emotions that would show up throughout the movie, but that doesn't mean Pixar's keeping them hidden. At the end of the trailer, there was a phrase that popped up on the screen. It said the feel good movie of 2024. But if you paid attention to it, you probably noticed that the word good started to change. A bunch of different words and emotion took its place. And in the process, the three emotions from the movie were revealed. If you look closely, you'll see the words ennui, embarrassment, and envy. Pixar has openly revealed that these three plus anxiety will be the new emotions that Riley will be experiencing as she turns 13 and starts a new chapter in her life. Believe it or not, they actually gave us a decent idea of what these emotions will look like by incorporating them into the poster of Inside Out 2. You can only see a portion of their faces and their eyes, but all four of the new emotions are shown standing underneath joy, anger, fear, disgust, and sadness. But other than their names and what their eyes look like, do we really know anything about these new emotions? The short answer is yes, but let's take this one by one starting with embarrassment. If you're human, and I hope all of you are, you know that being embarrassed can be one of the worst feelings in the world, especially if you're a young kid. So the fact that it's a new emotion for Inside Out 2 tells us that the movie is going to have a deep undertone to it. Embarrassment is defined as feeling self-conscious or a sense of shame and awkwardness, which is something that everyone can probably relate to. Embarrassment under the right circumstances, or in this case, under the wrong circumstances, has the chance of traumatizing someone. And at the end of the day, it can be an emotion or feeling that is difficult to get past. In the movie poster, embarrassment can be seen in the middle of the four emotions at the bottom. It's the pink looking character and considering its size, you can tell it's going to play a big role in Riley's life. Just by looking at it, you can see that embarrassment is going to be much bigger than the other new emotions and likely to be bigger than the original five as well. Thankfully though, even if embarrassment were to play a big role for Riley, it's likely it wouldn't be the most harmful to her. I only say this because one of the main characteristics of being embarrassed is the need to hide or fade into the background and not be noticed. That's not me saying that Riley won't be affected by embarrassment though. After all, Pixar wouldn't have included the character without a purpose. All I hope is that Riley doesn't get too embarrassed because that might just be awkward to watch. The next addition to Riley's emotional command center is going to be Anwi, and there's a lot we can speculate about them. I mean, going off the description alone, we know that they're most likely going to be French. Ennui is a French word after all, and it means to feel dissatisfied for a lack of excitement. In other words, Riley's about to be hella bored. It's really interesting to me that Pixar would choose Ennui as one of Riley's new emotions, but I can't deny the impact that boredom had on me as a teen. I mean, to experience true boredom for the first time is truly wild to think about. As a kid, it's like you're on the go 24 seven. As soon as you wake up from morning to nighttime, you were probably running around or doing something 
to keep your little mind occupied. But as people grow up, the same things that used to occupy us just don't hold the same weight anymore. Eventually, it becomes easy to feel bored without even realizing it, and Pixar clearly has that in mind for Riley. Whether it be just genuine boredom at home, or maybe even something more serious, like she's bored with a big aspect of her life, like hockey, either way, Ennui is going to be making an epic splash. Now, Ennui was shown in the bottom right of the poster. He's clearly going to be a purple character who has a long nose and look of pure boredom in his eyes. I mean, he just looks like he is so over it, kind of like Squidward. All in all though, Ennui might be a good emotion for Riley. Boredom can be a powerful tool, especially when it comes to getting creative. Ennui is definitely something that everyone is going to feel at some point in their lives, even if you were unaware that it was even a word before this video. But that's not the worst emotion that Riley's going to have to put up with in Pixar's new sequel. Someone or something worse than being bored or dissatisfied is feeling envious, and Riley better look out, because Pixar has announced that Envy will be making an appearance in the upcoming movie. I don't know about you, but feeling envious of someone or something is one of the worst sensations in the world. According to its definition, envy is the feeling of discontent or resentful longing that's inspired by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. And whether you want to admit it or not, everyone in the world who's over the age of 12 has felt envious at some point in their life. There's no telling exactly where Pixar is going to be taking this new emotion or what's going to cause Riley to feel envious, but just by looking at the poster, you can get an idea of what to expect. Envy is the smallest of the emotions and can be seen in the bottom left side of the poster. Even though it seems like a small emotion, looks can be very deceiving. Envy was shown on the poster to be a bright teal colored, childlike character with literal stars in its eyes. And because of its small size, it might seem like Envy is going to be hardly noticeable, but that's not a good thing for Riley. Much like Envy or Jealousy in real life, odds are that in the movie, Envy is going to stick to the background till something major happens, and then the character will take control of Riley's console. The worst case scenario for this would be if Riley happened to create a core memory where Envy was in control, because that would mean whatever she did out of Envy would stick in her mind and haunt her for years to come, making Envy a serious potential threat. There is one emotion that could be worse than Envy though, because this one actually has the potential to amplify some of these negative feelings, and that's anxiety. Fans got to actually meet anxiety in the trailer and most people already know that it can be a tricky emotion to deal with. Anxiety is defined as a feeling of worry, nervousness, or unease that's typically about an imminent event or something with an uncertain outcome. It's that feeling you get when you have a pit in your stomach about something specific that's going on in your life. And it's something that's not easily shaken, but will definitely shake you up. The way that Pixar introduced anxiety in the trailer was perfect. Their introductory line was basically like, hey, where can I put my things because I'm here forever. As you can tell from the trailer, anxiety is going to be an orange character with crazy hair and a very nondescript style. The character is being voiced by Stranger Things' Maya Hawks, but other than that, we don't know much about this character. Well, aside from the fact that it'll probably be the main supporting character out of Riley's new emotions. Inside Out 2 is set to take the world by storm in 2024 when it's released and keep your eyes peeled for a new trailer that's just around the corner. I'm curious to know though, which of these new emotions do you think affected you the most as you were growing up? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. And of course, as always, be nice to your fellow binge watchers. If you enjoyed this video and you're excited for the new movie, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future Flixplain breakdown. And we just popped up a video on your screen right now that you are sure to love. Go ahead and click that and I'll see you over there. Have a good one.